What is up guys, The Premium Rat here and welcome back to, I believe it is episode 12 now of my weekly Q&A series. You guys really, really enjoy these so they're going to be continuing for a long, long time to go. Of course, in the background, the gameplay is usually not important but again, I haven't been able to get online so this gameplay has been sent in by Sims Gaming. I'll leave the link to his channel uh, in the description. I believe the final score was something decent like 51 for 3 or something. This is on Hijack using the PDW. Uh, nothing that you haven't seen that, that you guys haven't seen before, but uh, yeah, definitely well worth checking him out. He's almost at 1,000 subscribers, so if we could maybe push him closer to that, or if not over it, then uh, I'd really appreciate that, guys. And I'm sure he would uh, would as well. I'm sure you guys can leave something down in the comments, like hashtag Rat Pack or something, uh, to get him to actually get him to a thousand subs. Anyway, we've got loads and loads of questions, so let me crack straight on with the first one. And the first one comes in from. Uh, comes in from Keanu Boss, and he asks, uh, hashtag ask rat, when, when you're on YouTube, who do you tend to watch? I usually watch quite a lot of people, unfortunately the past couple of weeks, because my laptop's been playing up, and you know, I haven't really been feeling YouTube, I haven't watched that many people, but usually when I do watch COD, I'll watch um, J Nasty, TBNR Frags, I'll watch Herder of Buffalo, and FIFA, I watch people like Alp27HD, Jack54HD, Unique Riggers, FIFA Monster, Keanu Boss himself, um, people like that. I do watch quite a lot of people. So if I'm sub to you, then I, I usually am quite an active subscriber and I'll, I'll tend to watch all your videos. Thanks for the question. Uh, the next one comes in from Basua98 and he asks, what do you play more, FIFA or COD? At the moment, 100% FIFA. Um, I think that's, to be honest, I think that's been the case since around Christmas, since the COD game, since the new Black Ops 2 has kind of died, to be honest. I, I, I didn't really like it anyway from the start. So um, I've been playing a lot a lot of FIFA recently. So definitely FIFA. Thanks for the question. The next one comes in from Bradman905 or 905. And he asks, how much, how much hate on average do you get on Twitter and YouTube a day? And this is quite a, uh, a good answer because uh, I like to... This is just really my personality. I like to get involved in stuff. I like to tend to cause a little bit of drama on, on Twitter. If you guys are following me, then I'm usually involved in something or other. And uh, I know it's not always the best thing, but you guys find it entertaining. A lot of people find it entertaining. But because of that, unfortunately, I am hated by quite a number of people in the community. But, you know, I'm not really bothered. But a lot of people do respect for the fact that I do like to speak my mind. And that's the only reason I tend to sell, tend to get myself into trouble. It's usually when I'm speaking the truth or, or my, my personal opinions about someone or something in the community. And usually I get hated for that. But as I said, most people do respect me for that. So on Twitter, I, I don't usually get that much hate at all, to be honest. Um, unless I start something or unless I, I say something that I probably shouldn't and something like that. And the same with YouTube. I, I hardly ever get any dislikes anymore. Usually maybe three or four in a video but that's kind of normal um we've been kind of been through the stage at the start of my youtube career as it were when i was only on about 500 600 subs that you know you get a few haters but you carry on and eventually they leave so the, to the answer to that question is not much unless i say something i shouldn't or i start something and get myself involved in something i probably shouldn't so thanks for the question the next one comes in from Tonksy391, and he asks, sorry, what is your ultimate YouTube or ultimate goal for YouTube? And my ultimate goal for YouTube is to become a big enough channel to do YouTube full time. Um, now, you're probably wondering what size is that? It varies, to be honest. It varies, and I know this sounds weird, but it is depending on how big you are, obviously depends on how much money you're going to be earning. So you obviously have to be a decent sized channel to be earning enough to support yourself without having any other income coming in towards you. So I'd say probably to live off YouTube properly with a decent in income and, it, and a sole income from YouTube, you probably need a good maybe 35 to 40,000 daily views. So that's probably f depending on whether or not if you have active or inactive subscribers i'd say between anywhere between 45,000 subscribers and 60,000 so and then anything other than that above that sorry you're you're going to be earning a decent amount so thanks for the question the next one comes in from owain morgan and he asks who's the best player you've used on ultimate team this is a very 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 tough question because i've played ultimate team fucking loads this year the amount of squad builders i've done and and etc etc i've used a lot of players um, usually I think it's, it's been the silver players that I've enjoyed using the most, maybe, 
maybe not Agbon Lahore, but maybe Mayuka from Southampton. He's a pacey striker. I believe he's got five star skill, four star skills, five star weak foot. Um, but I've, a lot of, you know, the top players really are good this year. Ribery was outstanding to you. So was Ibrahimovic. So if you guys haven't used those if, and, you've, and you've got the coins, then definitely well worth um, spending the money to actually pick up the, those two players. Thanks for the question. The next one comes in from Van Gilf and he asks, who are your f top five favourite players in Ultimate Team this year? And that kind of covers the last question as well. I'd say Ribery. Uh, Ibrahimovic, I haven't used Ronaldo or Messi on this game yet because I haven't had enough coins. Who else? Mayuka, as I said, the silver. Um, I don't know why, but I really had fun using Sean Wright Phillips for some weird reason. And the fifth and final player, I'd probably say maybe something like... Uh, I don't know, really, maybe. in or, or actually, Balotelli is a fantastic player. I haven't used the inform yet, but I'm sure he is a great player. A great card. Another one is Informed Defoe. I just had a lot of fun using him, even though he's not the best, but he seemed to really just score loads and loads of goals for me. So thanks for the question. Uh, the next one comes in from At the Lonely Hero, and he asks, What did you, ha why did you think up the name The Premium Rat? Um, and I've answered this a couple of times um, in the past, so I'll just go over it again. I think it was a couple of years ago um, for the for you guys that are on Xbox. They basically because I had a different gamer tag at the time, and this was before I did YouTube or got into. I, I watched videos at the time, but I've never really thought of making any videos. And they had a deal on to actually change your gamer tag, and one of the suggestions was um, was premium something. I, I don't think it was an animal. I think it was like an object. It was like premium computer or something weird like that. And I thought, you know what, premium rat is is different and. I don't know, it, it's memorable, and that's the, that's the main thing. When you're starting a YouTube channel and you're thinking of a name, it's got to be memorable for people to remember your name because that's how, how, that's how you get your name out there, especially if you upload good content and people remember your name, that's how you're going to rake in the views and the subs at the start. So, so thanks for the question. The next, come, the next one comes in from Luki Warrior. I think that's, I don't know, sorry, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I think it's Luki Wuro. I think that's, uh, anyway, sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. I probably have. Um, and he asks, what is your favourite stadium uh, except for White Hart Lane? Um, probably it's got to be Wembley, isn't it? Fantastic. I mean, it's 90,000 seater. It's a great stadium. Hopefully the Spur, new Spurs stadium is being built currently. So in a couple of years time, that'll be built. I know that they're not going to keep the name White Hart Lane, but I'd love them. I'd love for them to, to keep the name, but I know whoever buys the rights is going to name it something bent like the Qatari arena or something. But apart from that, you know, I like Anfield because of the atmosphere. Um, I don't really know. I don't really like any other stadiums to be honest, apart from White Hart Lane. The stadiums aren't really on my agenda to be honest. But anyway, thanks for the question. Uh, the next one comes in from Sims Gaming himself, the guy who sent in the gameplay, and he asks, what would you do if Spurs won the Europa League this year and or won the Premier League next year? If we won the Europa League this year, I'd, I'd go mental, obviously, but I think we've actually got a really, really good chance. Again, Premier League next year, I don't think it's going to happen, so I think it's a little bit, little bit too far-fetched. But definitely this year, the Europa League, we've got a fantastic chance, but obviously I would go absolutely mental. The next one comes in again from Luki Wario, and he asks, favorite, top five favourite non-FIFA YouTubers? And that's got to be Jay Nasty, TBNR Frags, uh, X Jaws, Herder of Buffalo... And probably someone like Chris Smoove as well, even though he started to upload FIFA videos. I mean, obviously, everyone subscribed to him because of his great COD and NBA 2K12, you know, commentary. So definitely those those top five anyway. Thanks for the question. And the last one comes in from Jordan Pearson. And he asks, who do you think will win the Champions League this year? And who do you think will win the Europa League? And who do you think will be the finalists of both? Champions League winners this year, it's going to be... Probably, I'd say Barcelona, even though they were they, they got battered by Milan first leg. They, they turned it around well, so you have to put them favourites again. But Real, you know, or Bayern, I think one of those three. I think the final is going to be either one of those three. Um, and again, the Europa League, I, I said we've got a really, really good chance, but there are some fantastic teams left. You know, Chelsea are left. Benfica are left. Um, Ruben Kazan, I, I believe, have got Chelsea, so it could go either way with, between those two. But I think we've got a really, really good chance of beating Basel. And then after that, it gets down to the really, really big boys. So I reckon we may have a good chance. I'd say 
I'd say we get to the final and probably play Benfica and you know what we like, we'll probably end up losing. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Thanks for all your questions, guys. If you enjoyed it, then please leave this video a thumbs up. We've had a ton of questions. Sorry if I haven't been able to answer them this week. Remember to send them in again next week, next weekend usually, and uh, I will answer them. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. And if you've stayed this long into the video, put something like, I like to get swarms or something like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.